Hi guys, Andrew Drummer here again with another helpful how-to video. I recently decided to replace the shower heads in this house. There's two bathrooms here. They both have the exact same shower heads. So the first thing I did was uh, probably not the correct step, but I went on Amazon and looked at shower heads. Then I ordered one. I guess they all have a standard half inch female thread. Something like that. Half inch and female to screw onto the shower head. This is pretty standard, I guess. If you don't know anything about plumbing, the half inch female thread for the shower head is fairly standard. The piece coming out of the wall is called the shower arm. So I think that was 20 bucks on Amazon. When it arrived, I went to install it and I thought it's as simple as just unscrew this old one. 1984, this house was built. These have been here since then and just install the, the new shower head here. Not a problem, right? Wait a second. Female thread and another female thread. So female to female don't work. Then I move this back to reveal a ball on the end. And maybe like some of you, I said, what in the hell is that? Why is there a ball here? Does this ball come off? What is this thing called? I've never even seen anything like this. I can't, it's, hard, it's difficult to find anything like this online. Well, I guess this is called a ball joint or ball tipped shower arm. It's leaking now only because I have the shower head off. But I guess these are old and they don't make shower heads that go on these ball joint shower arms anymore. So I needed an adapter obviously. But what kind of adapter? This, there's no name on this or anything. And I, I just have to guess what kind of adapter I need. So I measured these threads and long story short, looked everywhere and finally came across an article on a website called Plumber G or PLBG where a guy was experiencing the exact same situation that I was in. And I guess there's only three companies that used back in the eighties that used this ball tip shower arm. And that was Gerber, Price Feister, and American Standard. So which one do I order? They're about 10-15 bucks a piece for an adapter. Well I found a thing on Amazon.com, I'll put the link in the description, a company named the New Resource Group. They sell all three. Takes all the guesswork out. Does that mean you're gonna have two left over that you don't need? Yeah, but if you got friends or family maybe they need one. Or sell them back on eBay. So here we have the American Standard shower adapter, the Gerber ball end shower adapter, and finally the Price Feister ball end shower adapter, which is the one I needed. And it just comes down like this, and the fat end of the adapter installs like that right in there. And you tighten that down real good, there's a washer inside there. And now you got your standard half inch male thread, which goes inside the standard half inch female thread. Now I do this and it doesn't leak at all. So, you know, if you don't know it, you don't know it. And I thought I could save some people out there a lot of heartache by telling you that there is people out there that have old houses just like you, and you don't have some strange alien shower arm. Gerber, American Standard, and Price Feister thought this would be a good idea for some reason. Here is the Price Feister adapter. You can see it has, it's got a uh, washer here on this end. Just remove your old shower head. Bring down the metal female piece. I think this is one inch. And install the uh, one inch male end into the one inch female end. I suggest using a towel or a rag over this grip part here. A lot of this you can do by hand but at the end there you need to clamp it on. Get it on tight. Okay you want to get it down pretty good. I don't think you need any plumber's tape on this uh, male one inch end, but you could go ahead and put some plumber's tape on that end if you wanted. 
Now the unit I ordered comes with a washer and a little roll of very cheap plumber tape. I skip one very first thread. I try to anyways. Most likely your shower head's going to come with the same peripherals. We take our uh, washer and install that inside here like so and then screw our half inch female into our half inch male thread without cross threading it. What am I doing wrong? I messed up the threads with the plumbing tape. There it goes. This I would say just do hand tight. Don't put a wrench on this. It's just most of them is just chrome, like plastic chrome. It's not really metal, I don't think even. Maybe some of the nicer ones are. And the only bad thing about the unit that I got specifically, this is supposed to be antimicrobial, who knows if it is is when you move this, if there's any parts on the shower head that you move, it can twist the joint out of place like that. So I wouldn't buy this another unit like this that allows you to twist it. We have a setting that we like, we just leave it on that setting. Maybe you could put a, you know, a wrench or a pair of pliers on that and really get it down. But the nice thing is, this adapter here does not leak at all. So instead of going through the hassle of replacing the entire shower arm and cutting this out of the wall with a sheetrock knife and, you know, getting into all that, this adapter, 16 bucks, you get all three. It's, it, I think it's the way to go. So let's, let's test this just to see if it works. There we go. That's the setting we like. And you can see no drips there. Not a single drip on the uh, adapter connection piece. So I was really happy with that. I didn't want to get into the wall and unscrew the shower arm, especially in a 34 year old house. You know, who knows what you might accidentally mess up when a little adapter is is you know 16 bucks get the adapter fits any of the standard half inch shower heads and finally one last thing I thought I could do to help is measure these for you and maybe you can use those measurements to go buy the specific one that you need the Gerber the American Standard or the Price Feister the problem is I've already installed that Price Feister so I'm not going to measure the Price Feister one and don't take my word on this um, you know, the threads could be different sizes. It's best, I think, to just go buy all three as one set. That way you know you got one of them is going to be the right one. This is the Gerber. We know this end is the half inch male. We don't have to measure that. So we're going to measure this end. Its diameter could be the same on all of them. It looks like it's an inch inch diameter, the same with the price Feister, but the size of the threads, now those could be different. They look like they're not even, not even a half inch, five sixteenths or something. Show you the washer. There should be no threads on this side. And the American Standard ball end. Okay, it looks like, it looks like this washer sits up higher on the uh, American Standard. Yeah, you can see these are not the same size. You can see there, American Standard on the right, Gerber on the left. It almost, the American Standard almost fits inside the Gerber. They're definitely not the same size. American Standard gets not quite an inch, 15 sixteenths or something. And the size of the threads quarter inch I would say so 
if I were you, I'd order all three. I know I said that a million times, but it's it's eleven bucks, five bucks shipping. You know, I don't work for the company or anything. <laughs> That'd be a good plan if I did. But uh, for sixteen bucks, you know for damn sure you got the right piece that you need. So hopefully, I saved you the uh, outrageous Amazon expert setup fee <laughs> of eighty-five dollars where I live. Who knows how much it is where you live? But hopefully, I saved you the eighty-five dollars. That's probably worth a thumbs up. Eighty-five bucks. Hmm. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hope this helps.